Booster 7 is bouncing back from its misfire, while Starship 24 readies to bring the heat itself. Cargo Dragon heads to the space station, and we finish with today's honorable mention. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. After Monday's Booster 7 accidental misfire down at the Starbase Orbital Launch Site in South Texas, the FAA announced they were in close contact with SpaceX concerning the incident, but that they would not be opening an investigation because it didn't happen during a formal launch campaign. Crews were captured by Starship Gazer on Tuesday cleaning up debris around the launch table, and he snapped an up-close pic of the booster's Raptor 2 engine nozzles showing no signs of damage. Elon tweeted that night that he just went up into the propulsion section, and damage does appear to be minor but we need to inspect all the engines. Best to do this in the high bay up the road. So on Wednesday night, one of its Raptors was removed and one delivered on site. Not sure what the meaning of it was, but the following afternoon, B7 was ready for liftoff from the orbital launch table, just not under its own power, and taken back to the high bay up Highway 4 as promised. Elon wrote the most important thing that they need to do in the future in regard to the Raptor 2 design is delete or thermally protect all remaining secondary structures. That way they can decrease weight by removing the shrouds. Enabling engines to take the heat without shrouds might save over 10 tons. Shrouds also risk fuel leak containment, which could form a methane and liquid oxygen bomb, which is what was demoed earlier this week. Booster is purging all 33 engine shrouds in flight to prevent this. All mass necessitated by engine design should count as engine mass, like the shrouds, hydraulic power of thrust vector control, or excess purge gas. Raptors in production now have electric gimbling, saving over a ton of hydraulic mass on the booster. Electric power for booster and Starship is needed even when the engines aren't running, and incremental power draw of the TVC isn't too bad. We have local supercapacitors that can store and release high amounts of energy quickly on each engine to deal with power spikes. On Thursday, Lab Padres cam spotted a crew of SpaceX employees working on Starship 24's thermal tiles before Highway 4 was closed off for Booster 7's move. The upper stage vehicle is expected to begin her static fire campaign very soon. Prior to B-7's premature explosion, SpaceX was targeting August 8th for the first fully stacked orbital launch. But even now, Elon's saying if testing goes well, the launch can still happen as soon as next month. Now for some Dragon news. Last night, a Falcon 9 rocket lifted off from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center, Florida to place SpaceX's first Cargo Dragon 2 spacecraft on a trajectory to the space station for a third trip. This CRS-25 resupply mission comes after just over a month delay due to a fuel leak with a valve inlet joint in one of the spacecraft's Draco thrusters. The company decided to replace the entire system, as well as its shoots bra, out of caution. The capsule will reach the ISS on Saturday morning, and the booster responsible landed on the drone ship a shortfall of Gravitas stationed on the Atlantic Ocean for its fifth touchdown. Rocket. And now it's time for today's honorable mention. At 6.30 p.m. local time on Wednesday, Rocket Lab launched the 28th mission of their Electron rocket from their home turf in New Zealand. And we have liftoff. This flight, titled Wise One Looks Ahead, carried the super secret NROL-162 spacecraft to Earth orbit on behalf of the U.S. National Reconnaissance Office and the Australian Department of Defense. This was the first of two back-to-back enroll missions the rocket provider will provide the spy agency. Enroll 199 is expected to lift off from New Zealand as early as the 23rd of this month. Well, that's it for this one. Thank you for checking in. And thank you, supporters, for supporting the channel. Everyone can check out the link below to my locals page to do the same and join the conversation. Have a nominal weekend, and until next time, Godspeed.